Hey guys, today we're here. Uh, I got a microwave that my wife's parents gave us. Uh, they said one day they were trying to use it to cook, and as soon as they turned it on, it broke. It tripped all their breakers in the house. So they got a new microwave, and I said, "Let me see it. Maybe I can fix it." We definitely want. This is one of those uh, microwaves that hangs above the stove. Right now we have one on the countertop, and we definitely would like some more counter space. So why not? Let's give it a try. So first, I'm going to test it and see if it is tripping and then I will get into it and see how to fix it all right so let's give it a try first I'm just gonna go 20 seconds and then see what happens oh yeah it, it's off okay so we knew it's it's broken it didn't trip the breaker but it tripped itself so I'm gonna get in there and see what we can do about it Whenever working on these types of things, make sure you unplug the electric before you ever touch anything, screws or any of that. And plug it first. That's always important. Okay, first thing is we're going to open it up and we got to get this vent off. I have a, there's, a, there's a switch right here behind your door latches. These, these latches that go in and they go into that hole. There are these three micro switches in here that some of them turn current on and one of them turns current off. And if it's tripping the breaker or tripping itself, too much current's going through, I feel. That, that would be the issue. So let's check that first before we get into anything deep. Um, first thing to do that is to take off this vent. Just a couple of screws. All right, now that we got that off, we have to take, now we gotta take this uh, keypad off. Every, all the electrics are behind that. There is one screw that's right down here. There's an opening for it. I'll show you now. Just take a long Phillips head and you can stick it right in there and get it out. When you take this off and you get the screw out, you want to lift up and pull out, but be careful because it's connected to a bunch of wires. Lift up and pull out. Okay. Now we have a whole bunch of wires in here. Make sure you take a picture of, of the electronics before you take them apart. So when you go to put it back together, you know where, uh, where everything goes. So, if you look right in here, these are these switches I was talking about. There's one here, and then there's one here, and another one down here, okay? We gotta get to that. And to get to that, we have to take this whole piece off. So to do that, we're gonna get these wires out of the way first okay so some of them have little clips that you just press on and lift it out some of them you just pull off okay now that we got that out of the way you can move it same with these pull these out these are switches that we're looking into okay now to get this piece off, there's two little screws in here on the door. You can see that right here and down there. Okay, we gotta take that off first. Now to get this out, there's two tabs that are holding it in, so lift it up, push it out, and then there we go. You're gonna have to work a little bit around the wires. There we go. And this is the whole thing that we're looking at here. And if you see, there's three switches. One, 
two, three. To get these off, there's these little tabs right in the back. And you can see right there's one, there's another one. All you gotta do is stick a little flathead screwdriver in there, lift that up, and then pull the switch out. All right. Let me do that now. Okay, just like that. So here's a here's one of them. This is what they look like. And there's a little button that gets pushed, and you can hear it. That's the click that makes it on and off. That one sounds good, but this one came out, and I pressed the button, and there's no no noise. It doesn't sound right. So what we could do is we could take these. and actually get inside there to see what's wrong. Just get a little razor blade, slide into the seam there, and just easily pry it off. All right, now when you get that off, and I press the button, nothing happens. What it looks like to me, I'm gonna show you one that, that's working, and what it's supposed to look like. All right, this one is the working one. See these two beads right here when I press the button? They touch and that click happens. I let it go and it opens up. Now this one, when I touch it, press it, it it's locked. So you can see right in there, it must have got too much current or something and it welded itself shut. So that's most likely our issue. Okay, we found the problem. The switch is not working at all. So I got a new one here. And there it goes. It sounds pretty good. So we're going to switch that out with this one. And hopefully everything will go good. Now to insert the new one, remember we had that tab. So what you want to do, there's another little hole right in here. So the button goes into that hole. That's how you set it up. Then you push it to the back till it stops, and then you have, you know, that tab is there. And you have that tab just right there. Take a screwdriver, lift it up. Lift it up while you're pushing the button in, and then there you go. All right, so that's that. That should take care of that problem. So now we're gonna put everything back in. This goes back into the door, and then we have to hook up all the wires. So we'll do that now. Okay, we got everything reconnected. One other thing that we want to check is our is our fuse in the microwave itself. Now there's actually a fuse box right behind this panel here and there's only one screw holding it. So we're gonna get that off and get that uh, fuse out and check it. Now you can see right there, the fuse is broken. Pretty bad. And actually this is a really cheap glass fuse. It's 20 amp. 20 amp fuse, which is what it needs, but this is cheap glass ones. They have, for this type of electric that goes, the power that goes through one of these microwaves, they have a fuse uh, made of ceramic. It looks the same size, except it's made out of ceramic instead of clear glass. Again, that's where your fuse is right there. Those two little, just put it right in. Just like that, okay. Now it's time to put it all back together. First, you wanna put your fence in front of the fuse back. Just like, okay. Now you wanna put your door back on. Don't forget about this screw here. It's a little tough to get in place. So just be careful about that. Now remember, we had a lift up to take this out, so we want to start a little high, push it into the spot, and then push it down. All right, and then don't forget, set our screw up back. There's our screw. I set it on an angle so I can get my get it on the screwdriver. But we got to tighten that up. Now we got to put our. Put our exhaust vent in front of everything back on. And 
and then just put the screws back together. It's only three screws. Okay. Now we just have to test it. Okay. So we plug it in now. Hopefully the it'll come on. The, the clock will come on, and it did. So we'll set the clock. All right. Now the moment of truth. You put on 20 seconds and start her up, and hopefully everything works. Ah, look at that. And it works. Awesome, awesome. All right. So what we did, we just replaced the switches. I ended up, uh, one was bad, another one was going bad, so I replaced all three of them, just to make sure. Also replaced the fuse. And uh, that's it. We're good to go. So I hope you liked this episode. Tune into the next episode where we'll be installing this microwave above our stove, uh, removing an old, just a vent hood, and replacing it with this microwave. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time on Fix It With Mike.